Hi fam, welcome back to our channel, Design on the Dollar. I'm your host, Ida. And today we're gonna to do these mirrored and crystal pillar vase um, dupes. I found it on a site called Modern FL, so I'm thinking it's Modern Florida. So if you want to see how I recreate this vase along with a fall, the fall floor arrangements, then just continue to watch. So for this DIY, you're going to need um, four of the long picture frame, three four by six insert picture frames. You will need some crystals of your choice. I'm going to use the one from the links, but you're welcome to use any one. Dollar Tree has two different kinds that you can use as well. But um, as I said, I'm going to use the link chain. You're going to need one of these boards, picture boards, some scissors, some masking tape, some um, glue and hot glue sticks, the, the crystal strands, and of course the, the frames again. And you're going to need some mirrored towel. Or you're going to use, you can use the um, 11 by 14 picture frames of Dollar Tree. But as you know guys, I'm not good at cutting glass, so I'm sticking to the towels. You're going to need some lights, and you're going to need some of the Dollar Tree um, mirrored picture frames. So first I'm going to start off by cutting, um, opening the picture frames and taking them apart. You want to keep the cardboard backing and the glass and you want to keep one um, of the insert things for a um, template. And then guys you're going to proceed to make a glass box like, we, like the boxes I've made before or the lanterns. So I'm taking the masking tape and I am um, fixing the box, building the box with the masking tape and then I'm going to go back and put E6000 on it once I finish putting the box together. So now that the box is all together, you're going to see me go in with the E6000 and place that um, down the seams of the um, box and I'm going to let that dry for 24 hours and then I'm going to go back over the outside and secure it even more with the E6000. I'm not using any hot glue on the, the box itself because I want it the, the, the glue to be um, see-through, opaque. I don't, want, I don't want you to be able to see the residue of the hot glue gun. So now once I finish that, I'm going to set that off to the side and I'm going to bring the, um, the, the picture board up and I'm going to take the hanging mechanism off with a small pair of a uh, screwdriver and then I'm going to take the insert of the board and I'm going to measure it out so, so all four pieces can fit nice and perfect inside of the, that box. And here I'm just measuring what I need to cut to use as a template. Guys, make sure you use a straight edge because if not, you you could have your lines to be kind of crooked, and you don't you, you don't want that to take place. So, like I said, I'm going to cut this template, and then I'm going to use the template to cut the um the boards the boards so that all the boards can fit inside of its base now base. And you're going to see me uh, try all four of the pieces in to make sure they fit right. And they do. So then I'm going to take them out and I'm going to cover them with the mirror, the mosaic mirror. And this would be the part where you would just use a regular mirror if you had it. And you wouldn't need the boards, not unless you just want extra added um, comfort behind the, the mirror if you're going to use the mirror. And I am going to try, guys. I'm going to go to Lowe's and I'm going to buy the long mirrors and long glass because I want to actually make the big version of these as well. So now what I'm doing, I'm getting ready to glue all of the um, mosaic walls down and I'm going to fill it with um, hot glue and I'm using Gorilla Glue Sticks. And once I do that, I'm going to secure all four pieces in along with the size. So I'm going to build a mosaic box mosaic mirror box inside of the base. 
So now that my um, box, my mosaic box is complete, I'm taking that off and put it to the side so it can dry. And I'm bringing the glass box back up. And I'm going to put the, the crystals on the box. Now I started out putting four rows and then three rows, but I realized that um, it was hard to put the, put the, um, the glass box on top of the mosaic box. So I started doing three, um, three crystals and then two crystals. So three rows and then two, two rows, a row of three and then a row of two. So I'm gonna do that to the entire box. And I know you've seen several people do this technique on here before, putting crystals on, 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 on the boxes or on the glass. So now that I have both pieces together, I'm going to put the whole entire project together. And now I'm sliding the, the crystal box on top of the mosaic box. And as you can see, it's a little bit of a snug fit, but you want it to be snug, but you don't want it to be so snug that your crystals come off. And so now on this one, I am attaching some uh, fairy lights. I'm taking the lights down each corner and across the bottom and the tops of it so that um, it can be lit up. Now two sides at the bottom will not be covered, um, but those are going to be the, the two sides. And everything else you're going to see is going to be lit up. And guys, I did make two uh, versions. I made the reg original version without the lights, and then I made the one with the lights. Tell me down in the description box which one you like the best, with the lights or without the lights. So now everything is together, and there's the battery pack. I'm showing you that I'm putting the battery pack on the inside of the vase. And then I'm going to take the the mirror mirror pieces from my mirror frame, and I put two of them together. I e six thousand two of them together, and I'm going to make a box on the top of our base um, for mirrors, so we can duplicate the dupe. And if you want to go further, the dupe the the original base has the mirrors around the side as well, but I didn't put them around the sides. So um, I'm going to put the E6000 and the hot glue on the ridge of the glass box and I'm going to secure those um, two pieces on each side. And here I'm just showing you what I did to make the, the long one. I just put some E6000 in between um, the two and then I set it off to the side to dry and I put masking tape to help give it a support until it dried all the way. So now here I'm just showing you me putting the, the pieces on with the E6000 and the hot glue. And guys, this is the smaller box of the two. And you can make all different sizes of this. I mean, I think a set of three would be gorgeous together. Um, Especially if you do it without the mosaic pieces, you just do it with the regular mirror. Um, and like I said, I'm going to do that because I want the tall versions of this as well. So now I'm just going through and I'm taking the masking tape off of everything. So we can move on to the second part, which is our um, floor arrangements, our fall floor arrangements. And I like the contrast of the wood base with the glass top, mirrored top. I think that is so, um, it's modern. I think it's a modern, like modern look. I really do. I think the wood and the, the mirror together um, is a good contrast. Okay guys, so now all of it is off. We're going to move on to our floor arrangements. So the first floor arrangement is going to be in the tallest one. 
and I'm here I am showing you that I'm putting a floor foam inside of the tall one so that um, the, the floor rings will sit up higher and I'm just starting off with some a beautiful bouquet all the bouquets that I have came from Michael's Michael's had a 50% off of all their uh, fall um, decor floor so I went and got some of those and the, the small little bushes on the side was five dollars at Michael's and they are beautiful and so here I am just uh, fixing the, the bouquet up I'm putting some hydrangeas in there as well and I'm gonna um, just play around with it till I get the till I get the, the arrangement the way I I want it. And so now that I'm satisfied with the way the arrangement is, I'm gonna sit it sit the big one off to the side and I'm gonna work with the smaller one. Now with the smaller one, I just put three bushels of um I show I'm showing you the battery pack and I'm turning on the light. And I just put three bushels of um, floor arrangements together. And I think this floor arrangement is gorgeous. I love it. And I love the lighting of the small one. That, that right there to me is so gorgeous. I love the way that looks. And that's the small, that's the taller one of the two. And that's the original version because the original version does not have lights in it. But I really love the way the lights came out. And so guys, if you enjoyed this project, please don't forget to rate comment subscribe like and share and until next time guys i love you so much i love you to the moon and back and back again